Welcome to It Takes Two. I'm Blair. I'm Chris. And today we'll be talking about Love Island USA, Season 8, Episode 10. Listen, we are so close to 2,000 subscribers. I need y'all to subscribe. I need y'all to like. I love to read y'all comments and share the episode. You ready, Blair? I'm ready. Walk us through this. So, Miguel arrives. Uh He has kissed all the girls. All the girls pretty much rate his kiss very high. Yeah. They take their blindfolds off and they are shocked. They all think that he is boring. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Aaron is annoyed that he didn't get to have any kisses. Yeah, it kind of sucks that, you know, um, Aaron didn't get to kiss anybody. No. While his girl get to kiss everybody. everybody. So it's, it's, just so, it's so interesting, you know? Well, Miguel is rated second place mm. and the winner is Kendall. Mm. So Miguel goes to chat with all the ladies. Yeah. He tells them that he's from London. He's 27. He mm. runs a management agency. Okay. They ask him what his type is, and he likes a girl that motivates him. He really mm-hmm. doesn't have a physical type. Janae, and then he asks Janae what her type is, and she says, you. Listen here, stay on that <laughs> island, Janae. I feel you. Apply the pressure. Yeah. The girls explain what their couple situations are. Mm-hmm. The boys also think he's handsome. Mm-hmm. Aaron says in London, he's the guy who would get all the girls. Oh, thank you, Aaron, for that. When Serena's talking about her couple, she says that she's in a friendship couple. Mm-hmm. She's waiting for some butterflies to come. And he asks her if they're coming. She says they might. Mm, okay, little flirty flirty. Mm-hmm. Well, Je- well, as everyone's getting up, Janae offers to make him some eggs. He says that, yeah, you can make me some eggs, but he does want to pull her for a chat first. Mm. Miguel said that it felt really good when he kissed her. They are both spontaneous. She explains that she wants to marry a foreigner. Three of her exes are British. Mm-hmm. He likes her beauty, both with makeup and natural. Mm-hmm. He thinks that she, she'd be fine either way. And it's very interesting um, that we learned um, that she's from Hawaii. And mm-hmm. then I think she said she, she grew up in Japan. She grew up in yeah, Japan. She's a military so, kid. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, okay. That can explain a lot. Um, I... I don't know how I feel so much about her saying that she preferred mm-hmm. a foreigner, mm-hmm. right? Um, especially, I don't know if she's playing the game in the sense of, like, you know, she wants someone with that UK accent and things of that nature. But I was like, oh, okay, that kind of makes sense why you kind of, like, like Connor in some way. I, I, can't, I can't put no blame on her. She gave Koi a chance. Yeah, she liked Koi. Koi didn't, well, Koi, like Koi. Koi didn't want to talk. So, like, I understand. Yeah. Uh, next, Kayla and Liv are talking. Mm-hmm. Kayla tells Liv to go ahead and pull him for a chat. Mm, okay. So Liv goes up and steals him away. Well, mm-hmm. actually, Janae gets up and she gets into soul ties with him mm. and gets to talking. So he tells her that he's a nomad and she is a bit confused because yeah. she does not know what nomad means. Mm-hmm. But he explains to her that he really loves to explore the world and all the places he's traveled. Yeah. She feels that he has a good vibe and they talk about what a first great date would be to her mm-hmm. and she would enjoy a theme park. Hannah is wanting to interrupt and Kendall is hyping her up to go ahead. Listen, Hannah, like, <laughs> I'm going up there. I'm going up there. Yeah, I understand. I understand. So Hannah and Miguel, they end up going somewhere else to talk. Mm-hmm. He keeps getting pulled left and right. I yeah. mean, the ladies are at his neck. I understand. Okay. He tells her he's free spirited and spontaneous. And she's mm-hmm. like, yeah, I'm spontaneous too. How? <laughs> he wants to leave with somebody and meet people that he's never met before. That's what he's looking to gain out of this experience. Yeah. So Aaron, Aaron, Kayla, Rob, and Andrea, they all jump in the pool. They're having a full-out makeout session. Listen here, Rob, I see you, boy. <laughs> the Rob and Andrea era, I see you over there making out with, with this girl. I see. Listen, you see what happens when you ain't got to, you know, comfort somebody. They ain't crying no more about their insecurities. Yeah, y'all, some fun. Y'all could just kiss. You get what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. ain't got to, you know, you ain't got to have no tissues for nobody. I see you, Rob. Yeah. Well, Connor and Leah are on the dock. Mm-hmm. Connor says that he's going to get yelled at for rating a seven mm-hmm. he kind of did know it was her he just felt like throwing some shade mm-hmm. for no reason y'all mm-hmm. i'm just like connor you are awful mm-hmm. leah loves how they were able to create a friendship first yeah he asked her for a kiss they end up making out and he says that he's been wanting to do that for a while mm. so it starts raining they are feeling all lovey-dovey like they're in a romantic comedy and she says go ahead and like pick me up and spin me around mm-hmm. and he does it and he also ends up carrying her off the dock what are your thoughts on that scene blair 
I'm just like, you know what? Y'all deserve each other. You know, like, I don't know why Connor felt the need to shade Janae in the competition. I thought that was really like petty and unnecessary. Like mm-hmm. the girl has been trying to get to know you thinking y'all were in a good situation. Like, mm-hmm. did you do that to try to get points from Leah? Maybe thinking that she would like you more if you did mm-hmm. that to Janae. But I'm like, Connor's rubbing me the wrong way. Um, Leah, I mean, I, y'all know how I feel about Leah. I'm not the no, biggest. No, 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 no. <laughs> let, let people know how you feel about Leah. We got I'm new- not the biggest fan of Leah. Why? As I feel like she whines and complains too much. Okay. And um, I also feel like she's very selfish and self-centered. And I understand the name of the game is to be selfish. But when she was going around talking about how, ooh, like, y'all going to get to see a different side of me. This is my villain era and all this type of stuff. Like, why do you want to wreak havoc on the house is what it feels like you're doing versus wreaking havoc at Rob, the person that you think wronged you. So Leah is just kind of all over the place to me. I'm, I, I'm not, I don't vibe with her. But with her in this Connor situation, they're kissing. Shoot, they like it. I love it. I mean, what, what am I going to say? Mm-hmm. Maybe Connor wanted to shade Janae because she's black. Mm, oh, possibly. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm going there. They said that he's a quadroon is what I saw. Online. Meaning what? That his grandparent is half black. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about his grandmama. <laughs> I care about the fact that he wanted to shade Janae, mm-hmm. the one who's been nice, the one who haven't done anything to him, but you felt the need to shade him. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, apparently, there's supposed to be a throttle in the sense of it's supposed to be Serena, it's supposed to be Janae, and it's supposed to be Leah. Y'all are supposed to be sisters, right? Yeah. But the thing about it is, Leah, you found it kind of funny to where he shaded Janae for no reason. And I'm not telling you to jump off the cliff and be like, oh, no, you would not talk about my friend like that. Mm-hmm. But the fact that y'all kind of like laughing over that, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Because at the end of the day, there's nothing to shade Janae over. No. I thought the fact that you just wanted to just explore your connection with Leah, uh, Connor, um, was just enough. Mm-hmm. But now the fact that you're actually doing things to actually cause... Cause, uh, cause some type of havoc in the house for no reason towards Janae. Yeah. When, when Janae basically been mother may I for the whole house, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I'm looking at you very, very differently, Connor, because you have no reason to shade Janae. Right. Mm-hmm. So Hakeem and Janae actually talk. He wants to talk to her about the challenge. Okay. So they rated each other both really high scores when it came to the kisses. Mm-hmm. He feels that his best conversations really have been with Janae. Yeah. And he feels that they have a lot of similar mindsets. Hakeem, like, because they kiss in the competition, competition, he feels like that set kind of a romantic foundation for them to go off of. Okay. Um, and he wasn't necessarily expecting to have that type of connection with her. But at this point, he tells her he would like to get to know her more. Mm-hmm. Well, in Janae's eyes, Connor is now at the bottom of the totem pole. She's got Hakeem, Miguel, and then maybe possibly pending Connor. Mm. Hakeem is going to chat with Janae uh, while she's making Miguel's eggs. I thought that was like, okay. Listen here, man. (laughs) Hakeem ain't got no home. Yeah. (laughs) He ain't got no home. The minute he stood up to be with this this bombshell that he didn't speak to or didn't go on a date with, Mm -hmm. he knew he couldn't go back home to live, right? And Janae, she now don't have a home, Mm -hmm. right? So, Hakeem, who would have thought? The one that I said I do not like, his personality did not match with mine. He came in kind of on 10 in the house, kind of like a a little bit too much energy for me. And now he's about to potentially save my sister from another mister. Mm Mm-hmm. From leaving the island. Because it would have been real foul. Y'all would have saw a different Chris. <laughs> if just so happens that it's elimination night. And Janae is the one that has to go. Yeah. That, I would have been upset. So, so, so Hakeem. I'm not going to say I like you. But I'm, I'm open to like you. Yeah. Okay. I'm and open to liking you. I like this exchange of theirs. I'm hoping it's genuine. And that nobody else is trying to use Janae as a placeholder. Mm-hmm. I would hate to see that. Because she's so beautiful and like nice. Like she's like a great girl. So I, I don't want to see her be used the way Connor actually was using her. Which was crazy um, that he was doing that. Oh yeah. Yeah. But um, for me for now, Hakeem seems pretty genuine in his interests. So. Hey, I don't care if he's genuine. Just buy my <laughs> sister some time. Okay. Buy her some time. Just save her tonight. And we can talk about everything else after the fact. All right. Well, Serena gets a chance to chat with Miguel. Yeah. She asks 
the first thing she asked him is if he gets his eyebrows done. And he was like, no, it's just kind of naturally like that. Okay. Um, she asked him what he's mixed with. He says that he's Portuguese, Moroccan, and something else. Mm-hmm. He calls her his little Texas shoddy. And for dates that she is very competitive, she'd like to do stuff like arcades. Mm-hmm. She is a relationship girl as well. Well, mm-hmm. He says that he's never had a relationship. He yeah. just hasn't found the one. But they both find each other pretty attractive. Okay. I was thinking to myself, Miguel hasn't found the one because he doesn't want to find the one. Okay. Miguel is having fun. Okay. okay. So Janae is bringing up the scrambled eggs that she told him that she was going to make. Mm-hmm. And Serena is like face twisted up, telling her now is not the time. You need a walk back, turn around. And she's saying to us in the confessional that she hasn't had that butterfly feeling. And mm-hmm. when Janae saw them talking, like she should have considered her and turned around. Yeah. Janae apologizes, but she leaves the eggs with him. She actually made over easy scrambled and an omelet to mm-hmm. give him options. And Serena's laughing, talking about, oh, well, you should uh, throw the eggs over the balcony. But he eats them okay. while they finish their conversation. What is your thoughts on that scene, Blair? Because I have I have a lot of thoughts that I can go either way on this scene. Okay, I'll, I'll put it out there that Janae probably should have waited okay. to bring the eggs. Tell me how you feel. She should... <laughs> Because I'm about to say, don't say my line. Tell me how you feel. Let me get to it. I'm going to get to it. She probably should have waited to give them their time. However, I don't know how long these conversations are. So who's to say how long they were going to be talking for, whether it was 30 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. And she's already told him she was going to be making these eggs. So I kind of felt like I wouldn't, I don't know if I would have been as mad as Serena for bringing the eggs up. And also, I might have a little bias against Serena because I don't like how she played Cordell and talking about she want to be back in his face. Mm. And I'm just like, Serena, you don't really know what you want. Okay. So, you up here talking to this guy, but I don't even know if you know what to do to do with him necessarily. Mm. <laughs> if you're really going to try to lock it down or anything like that. So, I'm just like, yes, you're talking to him, but like, honey, like, you're not going to be applying pressure I already know it. Let Janae do her thing. So that's how I feel about it. Thank you for not plagiarizing. Okay. Um, I got to call my sister from another mister on the carpet. Come here, Janae. Right? Because I, I only got to use past, uh, past actions to basically see what I'm to basically, I have to use what happened in the past to, to know what I'm looking at in the present. Okay. Right? Janae has a habit of doing too much. When Connor was talking to one of the new bombshells, she was the one who moved the yoga mat all the way from the side of the yard to the middle of the yard, doing all these dumb stretches just for him to go with the white girl at the end of the day anyway. Yeah. Another one. Mm. So, Janae, in that moment, yes, I understand that Janae said that she was going to make him eggs, right? But that was like 30 minutes ago, maybe an hour ago. She kind of remembered it while she was talking to her. She was like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to make Miguel eggs. Why don't we finish this conversation while I make another man eggs, right? Mm -hmm. So when she sees Serena coming up there, Serena's like, no, you might as well not not turn around because you're up here now. You're seen now. You're Mm -hmm. seen now. It did feel kind of like. Does he really need eggs at the moment? Because even then, if you give him the eggs, you give him the eggs in the middle of their time together. Yeah. So he's thinking about your eggs. Mind you, Janae have a habit of doing too much because she didn't just make scrambled eggs. She didn't just make over easy eggs. She made three types of eggs on the plate. But do you want somebody basic, really? Don't you want somebody who goes above and beyond for you? Sure, <laughs> like 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 it, it's not it's not even that. Okay. But but my thing is, I think it. I think for Serena, yes, the fact that let me start with Janae. The fact that Janae plays this mother may I role, which I do not like the role that she plays because at the end of the day, she's gonna be the one that's gonna get hurt, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody expect Janae to have a little bit more integrity more than everybody else, mm-hmm. and that's the position that Janae put herself in, right? I think Serena's like, you know, I don't really like Cordell like that. And you know, like, I have no connection with no other guy here. Why are you like, the one time I can actually have a new connection and actually be with someone, why are you coming in the middle like a like a waitress? Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So I can understand it from both perspectives. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, Serena, Leah, Cordell, and Kendall are talking. Yeah. Leah tells them about the dock on the kiss and the spin. Yeah. And she said that John Janae saw when he spun her around. Mm-hmm. The more Leah talks to Connor, the more she realizes that he is a man. Okay. And she's going to allow herself to have this one thing because she deserves it. I got a question. Why does it matter if Janae saw? 
Leah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like I just have a question. I feel like Leah Loki wants to get a rise out of Janae a little bit. Okay. Um, and I don't necessarily know why. Maybe it's because I took your man, so maybe you should feel a type of way just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but or maybe she's expecting some type of drama. But Janae mm-hmm. has never been that person, so I don't know why she thinks that there's going to be this tension here mm-hmm. w- uh, with her. Um, and also. Leah talking about she deserves this, so she's going to allow herself to have this thing. Are you saying that Janae doesn't? Mm. Like, that that's how it came across to me. Like, you deserve it, so are other people undeserving? Like, I didn't mm-hmm. I didn't like the way that she worded I, that. I took it as she deserves it because she said, basically, since I've been manipulated by Rob, since Rob mistreated me, I actually get to actually be with a man instead of a boy like Rob. And I'm like, Leah, you are basically putting 20 on 10. Yeah, you, you, like, 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 what happened to you is what you're doing to Janae, and basically what you and Connor, what Connor specifically is doing to Janae. Mm-hmm. So it's like I don't really understand, especially since we gonna see the scene that we gonna see of how it's not a big deal when you're not the one that's a victim. But when you're the victim, obviously it's a big deal to the point where you're just like, mm-hmm. now people go see the other side of me. It's like, you're a hypocrite, you know? Yeah. And Serena is re- relaying the story about how Janae brought the eggs up and how she was upset about it. Yeah. And Leah is pretty much co-signing her and being like, yeah, that's so weird. Like, why would she do that? And that's what I don't like. Mm-hmm. That's what I don't like. This is where Serena, I got to look at you sideways because I was with you. I-, I, think, I think Janae bringing the eggs up was a little, it could be seen as a little passive aggressive maybe a little nice nasty you get what i'm saying um but you actually you actually going to talk to leah about it um and actually like gossiping about it that's what it kind of becomes kind of nasty and i don't think it was a a situation that deserved talking about no. or making jokes about or anything like that no. like the girl literally said she was going to do it it just so happened you were the one talking to him when she was doing it yeah but serena it, it ain't that big yeah. it really ain't that big no it's not mm-hmm. and i think serena should just take that um how she feels mm-hmm. out on janae tell janae about it like like that was foul yeah but to go talk to leah about it i think mm-hmm. that's where you kind of blur the lines of basically being a friend or being like a backstabber. Because mm-hmm. now you blur in the lines now. You yeah. know? And I guess maybe what annoyed me about Leah saying that, oh, Janae saw us spinning and I deserve this type of situation. It kind of sounds to me like like her focusing on Janae versus her focusing on her relationship with Connor and okay. building that up. I see it. I see and it. And it just gives me just a little bit of the ick of just being like, if you're really into this guy, like it really doesn't matter who's looking, who's watching. Like mm-hmm. your focus should be your connection. Mm-hmm. But I think that's, I think that's just, that's just Leah. Like even when she was having, um, moving on from Rob, she still wanted to talk about Rob like for days on end. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> so, as they're getting ready for the night, Serena is still annoyed by the situation. Yeah. Janae apologizes. Andrea talks about how she thinks Miguel gives F boy vibes. Okay. Leah says that she didn't talk to Miguel. And Janae was like, Well, you were busy. Mm-hmm. And Leah says, Well, you know the situation. And it's not like he's your boyfriend. Janae's like, I know that. Leah says, But you're acting like he is. Yeah. And I'm like, Leah, you're getting a little bold. You're yeah. a little bold, girl. And just to add a little bit more color to the scene to where, um, Basically, Leah told Janae to grow up. Mm-hmm. And uh, Janae said, I am effing grown mm-hmm. and things like that. And basically, she has the nerve to say, Leah said, that's not your boyfriend. And the fact that y'all been trying to argue us down and trying to write these long paragraphs filled with nothing, mm-hmm. right? About how Rob manipulated her, about Rob gaslit her and all these things. And literally the same thing that Rob did to her look look what leah said leah basically gave the answer to the test right there mm-hmm. leah told her herself she said that's not your boyfriend but no chris you know rob said that he only like her and things like that and that like you know they are in a relationship and that it's gonna take a lot for them to turn but that but 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 they, but they were still weren't official they still wasn't boyfriend official and boyfriend and girlfriend yeah so and what? that's what we were or at least that's what i was irritated by because i'm just like leah like you are doing entirely too much for exactly. this man that you just met who is not seriously committed to you mm-hmm. yet 
you want to take it so seriously um, that Janae has an issue or she's a little bit irritated and now you have to throw it in her face that Connor isn't her boyfriend. I'm like, I wish somebody would have done that to you. I mean, Janae was over here holding you and mm-hmm. hugging you and rubbing your back. And this is what you have. That's why I said Janae needed to, need to get up and walk away when she started crying. But because, that's the thing about it. Because I'm like, Leah, was, Leah is not going to give her any form of empathy no, at all. No, she's not. No. And at the end of the day, I do not want this to be a oh you support Rob or that you are anti Leah. I'm probably more anti Leah than like I am support of Rob to be honest. Yeah, honestly, Rob is just here to me. Yeah, Rob, <laughs> Rob, Rob is just here, right? Yeah. But Leah, it's the fact that y'all choose her to support where she have done nothing to garner this type of support. It's wow to me. Yeah, and it's like maybe there's a lot of Leahs in the world that's like oh I can relate to her, and I'm like you shouldn't want to relate to this type of girl. Because she, 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 she is, what is the term that girls like to say? She's not a girl's girl or something like yeah. that. She's all for herself. Mm-hmm. It just is what it is. Yeah. Well, it's the next day. Yeah. Serena uh, is talking to Leah about the ex situation again. Mm-hmm. And to her, it was the principal. I'm like, Serena, you are dragging it. She's dragging it. But <laughs> listen, she's dragging it. But I want her to drag it to Janae. But that's what I'm saying. Address Janae. Janae apologized last yeah. night. Yeah. You're still not over it. Then y'all need to have another conversation. Yes, you don't I need said, to be going around yeah, talking like, to other people like about it. Dragging it to Leah doesn't solve the problem. Because mm-hmm. I understand what Serena is saying. Serena is saying you couldn't, you couldn't have paid me to interrupt a conversation with Janae and like Miguel and things like that. Cause she's like, you know, that's my friend. Yeah. So Serena's like, Hey, you have people here that like you. I do not. I'm over here trying to fake this relationship with Cordell. Yeah. And the one time that I actually want to be with someone, mm-hmm. it does kind of come off as if you are being nice, nasty or passive aggressive. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're being so, what's the word? She's, it seems like Janae has plausible deniability of like, I was just bringing them eggs. But sometimes you could be like, but you didn't have to bring the eggs now, though. Yeah. So it's all, it's all, I can understand Serena's point. I just don't understand the point of gossiping about it to other people. Mm. If you still feel some type of way, just be like, I know you apologize, but that was wild. I still feel some type of way about it, sister. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Well, Cordell is talking to Hakeem and was saying how they did more cuddling last night. Okay. Hakeem thinks that it's a situation of convenience. Mm. Hannah joins Miguel to do some jump rope and to work out. So, you know, she's trying to get in where she fits in. It's funny. The girls <laughs> on the side, the bombshell girls was like, this is the first time we see Hannah worked out at all. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, Janae and Serena finally have their talk that we are like begging Serena yeah. to have. Mm-hmm. Serena is very disappointed because Janae isn't being attentive to her. Mm. She doesn't think Janae considers her. Serena says, you saw me. You went for it anyway. You're my closest friend. And then you continued on. Janae said that, you know, maybe it was a moment of her being a bad friend. Yeah. And if someone to drops off food, she would just think it would be sweet. She does apologize again. Serena says like, OK, they hashed it out. It's done. And Janae says that she's going to work on being more um, mindful and thoughtful of Serena. I like the fact that y'all finally got a chance to talk about it. Yeah. But Janae, let me criticize you just a little bit from your brother. Mm-hmm. Right. The fact that people put the burden on you. Of you should be attentive to my feelings, right? Mm. The fact that they view you as this this mother may I roll as 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 I say, I think you are going to be left getting hurt because I think a lot of people are not thinking about your feelings, mm-hmm. right? And I understand even when you was crying about Connor last episode, you was like, I want Leah to be happy and I want Connor to be happy, but I want to be happy too. Why are you last? Mm-hmm. You don't know Leah. Yeah. You don't know Connor. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So the whole point of you coming on this show is for you to find love. It's for you to build connections and things mm-hmm. like that. And if you're if, and if you're going to play the one that have to be attentive all the time to other people's feelings, and while at the same time your man is spinning another woman on like a deck, you're going to be left hurt a lot of the time. Yeah. You're going to have a lot of these conversations of what you didn't do and how you can be better. Take yourself out of that position and focus on your connection. I wouldn't say focus on Hakeem. We thank Hakeem for what he's done this episode. But I'm just saying, when you put yourself in that position that like you have to pay attention to other people's feelings, no one's going to pay attention to yours and no one's going to care about you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. My, my thing is, I'm glad they had the conversation. Yeah. But I still feel like Serena blew it out of proportion. Yeah. Um, 
I'm glad they hashed it out. <laughs> but I'm just like Serena. You don't like Serena. I'm like because Serena doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Like in the way that she moves and how she's more concerned about being friends with the with, friends with the women instead of building on and growing real connections with the guys. Mm-hmm. I feel like her focus is completely off of why she's she's even here. Like you're sitting around talking about Janae. I need you to be attentive. When I feel like that is like the perfect thing to say to Cordell, even though he was attentive to you and you wanted him to stop. Mm. <laughs> so I'm just like, uh, I just can't. But I it's, just can't. it's it's wild because the reason why I the reason why I feel like Serena dragged it it goes back to the point that she kept talking to everybody about it. When I say everybody, Leah, yeah, and not talking to Serena about it. The fact that no one Janae. said mm-hmm. uh, exactly uh, instead of talking to Janae about it. Sorry, mm-hmm. the reason why is because while Janae is over there caring about everybody else's feelings, at not one time did anybody say, "Hey." How about you talk to some? How about you talk to Janae about it? Mm-hmm. Um, maybe Janae didn't mean it that way. Yeah. Maybe maybe you're taking it the wrong way. Nobody came to the defense of Janae. It just came off as like, oh my goodness, that's goofy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's wild. Oh my goodness, you get what I'm saying? But at that time, while everybody's spiraling, Janae's over there talking about you're overthinking. It's okay, relax. You get what I'm saying? But at the same time, that's what I'm saying, Janae. I think you need to pull back. Of being there for everybody and be just a little bit more selfish. Mm -hmm. So Miguel and Liv talk. Yeah, Uh, they talk about how they only uh, cook for uh, cook breakfast for people that they care about. Okay, he says that he is shy. He does like her eyes, Mm -hmm. and he likes the little Australian thing she's got going on. Yeah. Miguel cuts the conversation short, though. He says that she's going to make it hard for him to get to know other people. Mm. Hannah tells Cordell that she wants to be a model. And there was just like a funny short little scene of seeing Hannah trying to model and stuff oh, like my that. Goodness. Cordell <laughs> like, oh, my goodness, you got it so natural. <laughs> Live like your arms don't your arms don't even move. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I get it. Well, Nicole and Miguel talk. Yeah. Nicole tells him that he is a flirt. Mm. Um, then Rob's end up getting ends up getting a text that there will be a recoupling tonight. The nice. boys will choose, and the girl not chosen will be dumped from the island. Oh boy! So Serena and Cordell have a conversation. Oh boy! Serena thinks that Miguel is dope, but Cordell is her number one. Cordell says that he doesn't know what's going on between them, mm-hmm. but you know he's still here Mm -hmm. he thinks that it's a little bit weird and is it possibly because of the recoupling serena says you know our our situation it's not giving just friends and she feels that cordell gets how she is and i'm just like hold on wait wait girl i just want you to remind you she's our sister from another mister i'm just saying (laughs) that cordell does not get how you are because you are all over the place Mm. like nobody like even they have another conversation where she said she was pretty much genuine and all this type of stuff. Mm-hmm. And he, he, he was talking about how he doesn't necessarily know what her motives are. Mm-hmm. And I completely 100% believe that Serena is genuinely confused. Oh. <laughs> she is genuinely confused. And that's why people can't get a read on her. Like, they don't really know if she's, like, coming with facts or truth or, or are you just trying to play the game. Mm-hmm. But I really believe that Serena is all over the place inside her head, inside her mind. Like, she is just not... Her... I, and I know she's been in relationships before, mm-hmm. but it just seems like it's such a struggle with her for her to, and maybe honestly, she does not like any of the guys on mm-hmm. here and that could be totally valid. But if that's the case, say it. But I honestly don't think that's the case. I think that Serena has some type of internal something going on to where she, she has some type of block against men in relationships just in this venue. I don't know the girl. Okay. But it's, it's just, it's just. It's hard to watch, especially when everybody's supposed to be getting to know each other. Like, she, like, gives and then pulls back and gives and pulls back. That's why I said, Janae, go up there and interrupt that because ain't nothing going to happen wow, anyway. Wow, wow, wow. So. <laughs> while, while I told you to remember that Serena is our sister from another mister. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna remember that, Serena. How dare you? Mm-hmm. Right? I don't think she's genuinely confused. I don't know what I, I. I'm not where you at at all, Blair. At all. Oh, you think she's intentional? I think she's intentionally using Cordell. I think oh. it's obvious. Mm-hmm. I think it's very obvious. Okay. I think she's buying time. Mm-hmm. She's hoping maybe she put a good impression on Miguel, mm-hmm. but somebody came in with X and kind of ruined <laughs> that for me, mm-hmm. right? So I think she's genuinely not confused about Cordell at least. She don't want to be a Cordell. Mm. Let's not listen here. I understand, like you know, like I listen. I like Serena as a person, but she is not into Cordell, and Cordell knows that. Aaron knows that. Kendall knows that. All the guys know that. Rob knows that. Miguel knows that, and he just got there. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I don't think she's confused. I just think she's like, oh, we recoupling tonight. 
Okay, yeah, so I was thinking about what we have. It's, it's more than friends. Yeah. So it's like, that's not someone that's confused. That's someone that is playing the game and trying to stay on, trying to stay on the island. And I can see that being 100% true, too. Maybe I was trying to give her a little bit of bail. Don't give her no bail because <laughs> you kind of confused me a little bit. Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? Well, Connor and Leah talk. Yeah. She feels good with Connor and she likes how they are with each other. Um, moving on, Cordell and Aaron and, uh-huh. and eventually some more of the guys come over. He tells Aaron about the chat and how she doesn't see this as just as a friendship anymore. Okay. She wants to try things again. And Aaron tells him, look, I'd be apprehensive since the text came and now she's saying all this. Of course. Kendall says that he doesn't want Cordell to forget how she did him dirty. Mm. And Rob says, you know, it's kind of been a long time that we've been here like Mm -hmm. y'all have been through a lot slow burn or not like i don't really know Mm. if this is the right situation Mm -hmm. hakeem says that you know honestly like you need to see what you need to see not what you want to see Mm -hmm. if he wants to choose someone else as a friend they talk about maybe choose a hannah or anybody really i mean if you're going to be in a friend couple yeah and this scene right here kind of lets me know that serena if you don't go home tonight you're going home the next time Mm. Because all the guys is kind of on to you. Yeah. Like, your chances of being with any of this guy group is over. The only one you got probably is Cordell, Mm -hmm. right? Because all... Kendall was like, don't... Kendall said it straight up because, you know, they like kind of best friends. You Mm -hmm. know, Kendall and Cordell. He, He said, don't forget, she did you dirty. Yeah. That... That sounds like, hey, you got a shot to basically take her out if you want to. Hey, how about you, like, be friends with Hannah? They didn't even say build a relationship with Hannah. No. They said basically, like, hey, you cool with Hannah? Or, like, you cool with sleeping with Hannah a couple nights? Yeah, Hannah's cool. She's yeah, funny. She, she cool. She's funny. You know what I mean? <laughs> I saw y'all in the kitchen doing a little modeling thing. Uh-huh. This is your chance to basically get your payback on someone who did you dirty. Yeah. And the fact that Kendall put it in those terms, especially since Kendall is known as the hype man for the women. He's kind of like the guy that can really float around and be a part of any group. Yeah. But the fact that he can specifically say about Serena, she did you dirty. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, Serena, the guys kind of know what game you playing. Yeah. And they're not going to let you play it on themselves. And they kind of wanted Cordell like, hey, be apprehensive about this girl because she's kind of playing you. Serena, I think the only chance you have is really getting Cordell because he seemed impressionable Mm -hmm. or you need a new guy. And you need to make sure Janae is nowhere around to make sure she ain't bringing no eggs, she ain't bringing nothing, she ain't bringing water, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's the only chance to stay around, in my opinion. So it's nighttime. Uh, Cordell and Serena are having their conversation about how he feels confused because he doesn't know if she's genuine. Mm -hmm. And Serena says that she's been nothing but straight up with him this whole time. (sighs) Yeah, you've been straight up telling me that you don't like me. Yeah. Like, 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 honesty, I'm not giving you respect for honesty if the honesty is I don't like you. And yeah. now you're telling me I like you. Like, it's, it's. Or that there is something that might be, yeah, maybe could it, build yeah, if it's, I, it's, it's, cause it's, I'm a slow burn and we kind of have to see. No. It's just like, no, I'm not waiting around. No, no, we got no, six no. weeks, no, girl. Like, exactly. figure it out or not. Exactly. That's crazy. <laughs> well, Cordell gets a text. Everyone has to gather around the fire pit. Yes. And it is time to choose their couples. I want to go through each one. Aaron chooses Kaylor. Aaron, I think you're in the position that there's a lot of weight on you. Because I think, and I can probably speak for majority of people, Aaron is probably a favorite in the house, mm-hmm. right? And the only reason why we kind of like Kayla is because of Aaron. Yeah. Kayla is not likable in my eyes. She's always crying. Um, she kissed every guy in the house, literally now. Okay. You know what <laughs> I mean? And I think in some ways, maybe she learned from her mistakes and maybe she would treat Aaron nice and things of that nature, but I'm apprehensive about them. Yeah. She could really be changed and really like him now and really learn from her mistakes, but I'm going to use Aaron words. I'm apprehensive. Yeah. You know, Aaron is really carrying the like, Aaron is carrying the likability of that couple alone. He is. In my really opinion. Is. And I really love the plant lesson he was given Janae. Yes. I'm just like, that was so sweet. Yes. <laughs> it's such a good friend move. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kendall chooses Nicole. Okay. I don't really have much to say about them two. Um, I would like to see more about how their interactions more than when they first came. Talk about the bombshells when they first came into the show. And more than what we saw on the date. But, you know, Kendall just seems cool. He seems like the guy that is everybody's brother. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. like, I, I, I like that. Rob chooses Andrea. Listen here, man. We are in the Rob and Andrea era. 
Yeah. This is the Rob and DeAndrea area. He gave her a nice lengthy speech. He, he gave her a nice <laughs> speech. He basically <laughs> said the fact that she was able to pull me away from a strong connection. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? You know, Leah made a face. You know, I understand. Listen here. Leah got the right to, to have a reaction to that because she was a victim of that. So I, I don't even put any blame to Leah on that. No, she's you, valid in she's her feelings. She's valid in her feelings in that mm -hmm. moment. But at the end of the day, when you are with someone that you don't have to constantly pour into and tell them like hey i like you i like you i like you i like you and then someone that listens and someone that actually make relationships easy i understand why he would choose andrea but i do think at the end of this season he'd be back with leah yeah yeah connor chooses leah but during his speech he says that this is the strongest connection he's had here just a lot of strays at janae i don't under see this is this is why it sucks being too nice. Mm -hmm. Janae didn't do anything, and I'm not telling Janae to be mean. Janae, continue to be yourself. Yeah, be who you are. Don't let these but, people but change. But Connor, mm -hmm. oh, he's a snake snake. Mm -hmm. He's a snake snake, right? The fact that he felt the need to basically throw strays and things of that nature, you just basically, you've been hiding in the hiding in the woods, mm -hmm. basically liking Leah this whole time, and you just waited for the perfect opportunity to be with Leah. Then just be with Leah. Don't 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 throw no shade at Janae. Yeah. Don't throw no shade. Just be with the girl. Exactly. Like instead of saying this is the strongest connection I've I've had here by far and all this type of stuff, you can literally say we have a strong connection. Yeah. And I think this could you know go somewhere. Yeah. And just leave it at focusing on Leah, but both of them kind of have a side shade and, and it, worrying it, about it, what Janae's reaction is going to be. I'm just like, y'all, y'all a little too worried about other people. Like if y'all yeah. really into each other, be focused on each other wholeheartedly. Exactly. But I think they're both kind of in it for the drama a yeah. little bit. Mm -hmm. So Miguel decides to choose Liv. Liv was surprised. Liv was shocked. She was like, did he say my name? <laughs> Listen here. I guess, I guess the type of egg he want is egg whites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because right. that's who he's into. Mm -hmm. Um, Miguel, you're disappointing me, brother. I thought this was a chance to get Liv out, but I, I'm guessing Liv is here for the long haul. The more I see Liv, I'm kind of seeing her through the lens of my wife. She says she don't see the thing about Liv. I rated her a three, and now she's kind of like a 2.7 to me, right? Mm. Because Liv just seems very, what's the word? Boring. But like, boring. And a little mean. Like, no, she's definitely <laughs> mean, but it's like boring. Like, yeah. she says she like amusement parks and things like that, and I understand that, but she seems very just boring. And I'm like, yeah. really? You were so on the fact that she's foreign and she's from Australia or like she had that accent. Yeah. There's nothing personality wise you were sold on with Liv. But I will say that Liv's conversations with Miguel has been the best conversations that I she's had with anybody. Because he she had all those op she had all those chances to have it. Miguel kept mm -hmm. wanting to talk to her. Yeah, yeah. So I and Miguel was giving a speech and I was just like, I don't know who he's talking about because this can't be Liv. <laughs> and it was definitely her. Exactly. Yeah. Like Liv was like, whoa, I forgot my name for a second. Me too. Yeah. So Hakeem chooses Janae. Now let's start right here. Did y'all see the reactions of Rob? I mean not Rob, of Connor and Leah? They looked annoyed. They looked like, whoa. Y'all thought Janae was gonna, like, come on now. Mm. Come on now. Listen here. Thank you, Hakeem. Why ha would Janae not get chosen? Exactly. Thank you, Hakeem. Mm -hmm. You know, thank you, Hakeem, for doing what you did by saving our sister. That don't mean I like you, but I'm open to liking you, right? It's just something about I'm I'm very interesting. I'm very interested in seeing how the whole like Connor and Leah relationship is gonna go mm -hmm. because so far we've seen Rob and Andrea to themselves. Yeah, and kind of like hey, they to themselves. They in the pool kissing. They talking. Whatever they doing. Right. Mm -hmm. I wonder, can Connor and Leah really focus on themselves? Will they be allowed to focus on themselves? Hopefully, Janae don't feel no type of way. But I do feel some type of passive aggressiveness, some type of like um, shady eye, shady face makes at uh, Janae being saved by Hakeem by them two, specifically Connor and Leah. Right. And Cordell makes this kind of vague speech about yeah. starting something new with somebody. And I think everybody was a little bit confused. Yeah. But he decided to select Serena. Oh, my goodness. Listen here, man. When Serena went over there, she gave him a biggest hug. And listen here, Cordell took that kiss. Yeah. She was like, no, 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 no. You ain't going to give me no hug and no kiss on the cheek. I'm Give me a kiss. And, and they gave each other a kiss on the, on, uh, on the lip. And now Hannah just standing there looking sad. Yes, and it is time for Hannah to go home. She packs up her bags. Everyone says goodbye. And that was the end of the episode. Your thoughts on this episode overall? The episode was great. I mean, this season, Love Island USA is just hitting, hitting, hitting yeah, every yeah. single episode. Um, my only takeaway thoughts is just like, Leah, 
you're low key being a hypocrite a little bit. Connor, low key, high key. Yeah, Connor, you're being shady for no reason. Janae was nothing but nice to you. Mm-hmm. Janae was nothing but nice to everybody. Yeah. So um, that's pretty much all I have to say about the episode. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think more and more um, the tide is turning on Leah. Mm-hmm. People eyes are being open to Leah. Um, more and more, I want to see how Hakeem and Janae work out and things like that. Um, and also I'm very interested in seeing, as I was saying earlier, how this Cordell and Serena going to go. Mm. Is Serena's going to now be like, Hey, we're just friends now. Now that you know that most likely the women's going to have the power and now she's safe for another couple of days. So I'm very interested in those three right there and those three storylines right there. Yeah. I'm interested in the Janae. And uh, uh, Kendall, I I actually want to see one more of them. And I want to see how Cordell is going to handle Serena. Mm -hmm. Anything else? That's it. Listen, we do not do After Sun. So you're not not getting no After Sun episode. But we'll be back Sunday with the newest episode. Y'all be good. Bye.